Who are you? I'm Molly Lansing Davis. No, I know who you are. Who are you? Uh, I'm Molly's boyfriend. Uh, we need our manuscript back. Can't help you with that. Why not? Because it's gone. What do you mean, gone? I mean, gone. It's not here. And where is it? I have no idea. Why don't you ask her? Did you take Molly's manuscript? Manuscript? When you talk to her, you have to use very small words. Um, the book I wrote, Love in Maine? Love in Maine. Yeah, never heard of it. Look at yourself, Johnny. You have lost everyone that you love and care about. What kind of life is that? It's not at all. Then why are you letting it go on? What does Connie have over you? She's got something on me. Something I did. That much I get, Johnny, but what is it? It's bad, Star. How bad? It's the worst thing imaginable. Oof, look at that hemline. If you didn't already have cankles, that would give you them. Maxie, what a pleasant surprise. Pleasant for who? Whom? Sorry. Uh, you went to uh, your first doctor's appointment, right? For, in preparation for your surrogacy? How did, it, how did it go? How do you think it went, Smelly? And why the hell do you care? Hey there. PCPD. Yeah, I appreciate it. Kind of feels like you've already been working here. Yeah, I didn't bet you'd expect to get stuck with me as a partner, you know? Sorry about that. I know. And I didn't get a chance to ask you for your input. No, no, no. If she had, I would have been all for it. I think we did a pretty good job working the pathogen case. It's gonna feel like you're slumming a little bit, though. FBI and then chief of detectives in Landview and now uh, this. No. I'm happy to have the job. I'm happy to be here. That's good. It's not gonna be boring, I promise you that. You never know what's gonna walk through those doors. I'm telling you, you're locking up the wrong guy. Do you think Robert honestly expected you to believe that I'm the man in the sketch? I never seem so adamant about anything, really. I mean, do you know what he said is impossible. Yeah, I know. Hannah? Do you regret having Robert arrested? What's going on? Breaking and entering with intent. Where? Home of Duke Lavery. Commissioner busted him. Made the call. <sighs> Thanks. I'll take you from here. Yes, sir. Hey, guys. No big deal. You're just following orders. I get it. Uh, listen, Anna's making a huge mistake here, I'm, but I know you understand. Well, no, what, what you need to understand is that you're in a lot of trouble right now. What do you got? Hey, hey, this is a private conversation. Yeah, this is this is Detective McBain. He's my partner. This is Robert Scorpio. He's Anna. Anna's ex. Yeah. He's a bit of a legend in the intelligence community. You've had uh, experience in the intelligence service? I have. FBI, 12 years at one point. Well, Anna was my mentor. Then you train with the best. Mm -hmm. And listen... We should be worried about her. So start talking. No, no, I'll start talking. Robert, legend or no legend, have you lost your mind? Well, Robert knows what he did. He, he, he understands the risks entirely. He broke the law. He knows what the consequences are. I, I won't blame you if you have to take out a restraining order. Oh, Anna, I don't think that'll be necessary. I mean, Robert will wake up after a night in jail and the cool his heels that... The very worst, he'd probably have like a crick in his neck. Yeah. I mean, he'll realize that he can't come between us. I mean, no matter what ludicrous lies he tells. Yeah. I know. Uh, I mean, obviously, you're not phase on in disguise, and that's impossible. The man is desperate, Anna. But he can't harm us. I mean, especially if we're not here. The mountains are cooling. I, uh, I took the liberty of purchasing ski lift tickets. Oh, my God. You're a betting man, aren't you? I would bet on you any day of the week. <gasps> Come on. Come on. You know you want to. It's kind of exactly what I need. Is that a yes? Yeah. I'll come away with you.
Dr. Maxey, I thought we were, we were beyond this, that we respected each other's choices. Yours to carry a baby for your friends and mine to pick Ellie over you. Thank you. I'm sorry, I did not mean to phrase it like that. And yet, you did. Yeah, but my point is, is that we talked about this. We did. So, shut up. There's no need to be hostile. I was simply inquiring as to your physical and mental well-being. Because, Maxie, I care. And like it or not, I always will. Seeing something? What is it? It was a um a mouse. It was over in the Olivia, corner. Olivia, you've had enough episodes in front of me. You Lady. gave me that look. You just gave it to me again now, and you gave it to me the other day when we told you that Maxie was going to be our surrogate. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't take out that I was being paranoid, but I wasn't. Whatever you saw then, you saw it now. That's why you said not again. Honey, I. I... I don't know what you're talking about. It doesn't even matter. This doesn't matter. This does matter. matter to me. Is it my baby? Is there something wrong with the surrogacy? No, honey, it's nothing like that. I promise you. Actually, when I when I looked over at you, I did see you with a baby. It's just that, uh... What? It was a baby dog. Um, well, maybe if we retrace the steps, we can figure out what happened. So, Star left my manuscript with you to read, but before you could, it was gone. Yep, gone. It was gone. Just like me. I'm gone. Leave the three of you to work this out amongst yourselves. Please, if you have any idea where my manuscript is... I already told you I don't. I mean, why would I care about some teeny bopper fish out of the water romance? Uh, How do you know that's what it's about? Because you told me to title, ding dong! Love in Maine doesn't take a rocket scientist. Besides, isn't that what you kids are reading about these days? I only read books with sex in it. Does your book have sex in it? No. Then I'm not interested. And even if I was, I just don't have time because as you can see, I'm running a fashion magazine. Which you might want to consider looking at. Look, Miss Falconeria. Uh, Zakara. Maybe... Miss Zakara. Mrs. Zakara. Whatever, maybe you saw the book lying around somewhere and moved it. It's just yeah. really important that we find yeah, it. It's my only copy. You kidding me? Don't you think you owe me an explanation? You did marry the woman that put Colin Hope in the ground? I wish I could tell you. You can. Johnny, whatever it is, I'll try to understand. Not this. Come on, Johnny. Deep down, I know that you are a good guy. No, I mean, you couldn't be more. What do you mean? I'm just as bad as anybody in my family. Or worse. You're acting like you killed someone or something. You Oh, my God. You did. I think it's time for you to go. No, I'm not going anywhere. You killed someone, and I know who. I'm so surprised I didn't figure it out before. It had to be big enough for you to trash your life and marry Connie. Stark, and you were you were a suspect the whole time. I just never thought that you could actually... Start. That you would murder your own grandfather? But you did. Didn't you? My grandfather... The cops liked Heather Weber for that. But she was never convicted. I don't even think she went to trial. The case is still open. Connie's blackmailing me has nothing to do with Anthony's death. Okay, and why would I kill him? It makes no sense. It would a little if it had to do with what Anthony did to me. His part in Colin Hope's death. Wait, you don't have another copy of this book? Oh, uh, well, I did print out another one. But it's gone, and it's my fault. But I guess it's her now. Well, that's unlikely. But don't you have, like, a, um, original, like, on your computer? I mean, you didn't... Did you use a typewriter or something? You going all old school on me now? No, I have a computer. Yeah? But I accidentally overwrote the file. <laughs> wow. It's not funny, all right? Molly worked really hard on this book, and it's good. Like, legit good. Legit good. I'm so sorry. I just can't help you. But keep your chin up, huh, sweetie? Because you're young, and you got plenty of time to write another book. No, not one like this. It was a labor of love. Oh, come on, this is crazy. It's gotta be around this office somewhere. You gotta at least let us take a look. Hi, Maxie. 
came in. Hey, gracious greetings. Am I interrupting something? No. Yes. I, I was asking Maxie how her first doctor's appointment went when I received a verbal lashing for no reason. Actually, there is a reason. And what is that supposed to mean? Yeah, may I urge you to be sensitive with Maxie? She's wounded from my rejection. I'm still here. Well, it's very considerate for you to be so concerned. I actually wasn't referring to our relationship. Then what was it you were referring to? Well, I saw you and Lulu's lab reports, and I'm aware that you both had your first hormone injection. Oh, so now you're stalking me. It's her job. Might I remind you that she's a lab technician? <sighs> And hormones are a very powerful thing, Maxie, capable of sending even the sanest people on an emotional roller coaster. And the side effects can include irritability. I am not irritable. There is no sugar in here. I need sugar. <laughs> Maxie's gonna give birth to a dog. No, honey, for one thing, that is physically impossible. <laughs> So then the baby's gonna be ugly? No, also physically impossible, honey. Have you and your husband looked at a mirror lately? Well, then why are you seeing that? Oh, I don't know, honey. Maybe it means that the, that the, that the doll baby is gonna be cute and cuddly like a little puppy. Oh, honey, honey, look, you know that all my hallucinations are not always accurate. Yes, they are. Oh, God, this is why I didn't want to tell you no, about it's this. Not. It's not, it's, I, I cried this morning when the barista gave me tea instead of coffee. It's not. You, it's the hormones. You started that already. They want to optimize my ovulation. You see, because that's what you should be focusing on right now, okay? Preparing for that beautiful, gorgeous, healthy little baby. Not listen to the ramblings of some crazy lady, okay? Why right, don't you go? You go clean yourself up a little bit. Your mascara could use a little help. I'm sorry, I'm breaking down like that. No, 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 no. Don't even, don't even mention it. I'll be right back. Oh, Olivia. Hi. I'm so glad you're here. Yeah. So I can help you with commissioner. Ah, uh, yes. There is actually. I'd like to talk to you about this. 